Hello, uh, welcome back to another very quick video. This will be quicker than normal. I always say it's a very quick video and I waffle on. Um, this is just in response to a question from Dot Dot, uh, who asked, how do I overpressurize liquid vents? Uh, in one of the last videos I did, which was to do with gas vents, we showed how to overpressurize a gas vent using a bit of liquid in front of it. Um, and you can use a similar trick with liquid vents as well. Um, it's something quite a lot of people do when they are concerned with keeping the bases small and want to have a compact little system. And what you basically do is this, okay? So what I've got here set up is a geyser that I capped at the beginning of debug and didn't really do anything with. I just thought I'd cap it so it didn't heat everything up. Um, and what's basically happening is the water is getting pumped into this system here. So if I go onto the liquid piping, um, I am using the water for other things throughout the base, but what basically happens is the water comes through this pump um, and will hit this bridge. If this pipe needs any water, then it will e exit out of the system and basically go on its merry way and be used where it needs to be used, okay? But if I have nowhere for that water to go, it can go into this overflow tank, and that's basically what this is. So we've got a gas permeable tile, or airflow tile as they're now called, uh, wall around the tank. And then we've got a too high divide, making sure to leave a gap there. And then we have our liquid vent. In front of our liquid vent is some crude oil. Um, now it can be any liquid that's heavier than the liquid you're trying to um, overpressurize, basically. So over here I've done a couple of examples where I've got crude oil in one tank and normal water in the other tank. And if I toggle this switch on um, and we'll come back to that in a second basically as long as that liquid that is covering your vent is heavier then this will work fine and you also need to make sure you don't go above the maximum tile uh, weight for that liquid so for example crude oil normally will overpressurize at about 870 kilos so in here we've got 500 you could put a couple of bottles of oil in here it doesn't really matter um, likewise if you're doing polluted water that likes to overpressurize at around 800 kilos can go a little bit higher but normally around 800 kilos so make sure you don't overpressurize whatever liquid you're putting in front of your vent if you put too much in it will just say vent overpressure overpressurized if you put too little in it can also be deleted so you want to make sure you use a fair few kilos for this um, but what you'll see is at the moment our pipe is backed up some water is still going into this pipe but the rest is going through this vent even though in the room we've got 14 tonnes of liquid, 17 tonnes of liquid, um, 23 tonnes of liquid. The liquid, because it's so overpressurized, will be volatile in the room. It'll bounce all different weights. So like down here, it's 17 tonnes. Up here, 17, well, 16 and a half tonnes and 17, 23 and a bit. <laughs> you know, it, it, will, it will fluctuate. Um, but as you can see, the liquid's having no problem getting pumped into the room. Um, it's very handy for things like if you've got a geyser that you're not fully utilizing, you can cap it, make sure you're backing up your your excess and then it'll keep your geyser constantly flowing. I've just got a very simple thermo switch in here, or sorry, hydro sensor in here, which is basically saying if you're above 500 kilos, pump some liquid into here. Um, and then in this tank, I've also got a supply pump for if any of my systems need water pump it from the supply tank that's basically what I'm doing so it's just we're, we're constantly using all of our water from the steam guys this way we're not letting it just um, over pressurize in there we're always getting our excess which is then getting back up into this tank okay um, if we look over here now you'll see that we've got both examples we've got polluted water and oil both of them are working fine and um, this is gonna bubble over here and go into this side and then this will all fill up and it can basically over pressurize a ridiculous amount apparently um, it can crash your game if it goes to like millions and millions of kilos, uh, but I've never overpressurized the tank that much before, so uh, I don't really know. I could try it. Uh, let's try putting in a load of water. Um, but yeah, pressure damage doesn't affect airflow tiles in the same way as it does normal tiles. Um, some people regard it as a bit of a bug. I honestly don't have an opinion on it. I build all my water tanks out of, um, out of airflow tiles. Uh, let's paste in a few of these. Uh, wow, that's 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 a lot of liquid. Uh, I think is that an exponential number? We, we have many many liquids in there. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was just a quick video, just showing how it's basically done. I could quickly show you how to build one as well if you like. I mean, the design is very simple. But if you start with some airflow tiles, what I normally do is lay out a room like this. That's going to be where my vent is. I need to leave two spaces for my pump. 
and that's it. Make sure I leave one space above and do that. Now, if you want this to be filled with a pitcher pump, um, not a pitcher pump, I always call them pitcher pumps. They're called bottle emptiers. Um, all you basically do, get all your external walls built. Uh, you're going to leave out this tile. Uh, and I'll just deconstruct a couple of these other ones. Get all your external walls built. Um, and then you want to knock out this one uh, and this one. And that's basically it. And we'll just build up these other things as well. Do, do, do. Get rid of you. And then if you put your pitcher pump up here, your dupes can come along and deliver your oil um, or whatever liquid you're using. And once you get above like 400 kilos, you can basically seal up your room, make sure all your wiring and your pumps and your vents are inside, seal it up, and only then start pumping your liquid. Don't try and start filling it up at a normal pressure and then try and get in here afterwards. You'll you'll have a nightmare with it. Um, and that's it, basically. Uh, just a really nice, sleek, compact tank that you can have in your base. Um, and obviously, you can use this for various different types of liquid. If you're going to use something like polluted water to be backed up, then again, you'll need a, water that's, a liquid that's heavier than polluted water, like oil. Uh, oil is pretty handy because it's it's heavier than most liquids. Um, so that's that. I hope that helps. And um, yeah, dot, dot. Let me know if that's answered it for you, buddy. Much love. Take it easy, guys. Bye.